Hey guys, please subscribe as 65% of you aren't subscribed. That's a crazy amount of people. So please subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Hey guys, this video is a little different to what you're used to seeing on my channel. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It's about the best gun and the worst gun in the whole entire game. The worst gun being Jules' drum gun. The best gun, you'll see what that is later. But Jules' drum gun is nothing like Midas's drum gun or the OG drum gun. It's a lot worse and I seem to never be able to get it because it's already such a hot drop. So what's the point in carrying it, you might say? Well, I did it for the purpose of this video. And there's many times in this video where you will see that there were, could have been tons of guns I could have picked up. And I should have picked them up. But I couldn't because I challenged myself to keep the drum gun forever. Or at least as long as I lived. Which I hoped was until the end of the game. And now it's time for a looting montage. I saw this guy and started to double game with my chopper. I hit him for a good bit, for 73 to be exact, and I saw that he was pretty bad, but I didn't know if he was a bot or not. He beat me out of my chopper, but I absolutely hit him with the charged, and then hit him once with the drummy. It took me ages to hit him with the drummy though, so that wasn't good. Once I killed him, I went straight to WK for more kills. So I hopped in the chopper and looked for people. All I saw was some charred marks and then I saw a skin. He was just looting, so I jumped on him. I tried to get him with the chopper, then realized I couldn't because he was too much of a rat. But it turns out that he had literal aimbot, so I had to grapple out of there. This kind of got a little bit sketchy. He ended up getting in the chopper and trying to rush me. I got it down to really weak, but then I realized I was one tap the explosion, so I just grappled away again. This guy ended up coming back to bite me later. I saw a guy on my left, so I tried to hide behind this tree. He ended up finding out I was there, and this was pretty scary because I was fairly weak, so I padded away. I got caught in the tree, but I managed to get away besides that. That's the only good thing about Jules' drum gun. It comes with Jules' glider gun, which is one of the best mobility items to ever be added to Fortnite, besides Kit's shockwave launcher. Or as I call it, boing boing. You may think that's a childish name to call a kid's shockwave launcher, but it literally describes everything it does. Boing, boing. I scurried around for a while looting and eating mushrooms and other stuff like that. And I eventually just gave up altogether and tried to find some people. When I hopped on the zip line, I heard some guy shooting. I, I assumed he was against marauders because I heard multiple shots at the same time. I looked down and found him fighting marauders, so I tried to beam him. I did end up beaming him, but I didn't end up cracking him, sadly. So I went in for the kill. I went down and hit him hard with the attack. And then I didn't hit him with the hard with the attack, but he still died. So it's a win-win scenario. I would have loved to drop the drummy for another set of minis, or anything here but as you know I couldn't I saw those builds go up at the end of the thing so I ended up just running away with my grapple again I saw some shooting on my visualized sound effects so I went over here to see what was happening I tried to see if I could kill him with just my drummy it ended up being really tedious and difficult, but I did get it done. If that was the Midas drummy, he would have been dead ages ago. 
I decided to grab a med kit over my minis. And I really wanted to swap the drummy for that hunting. You do not know how much I love the hunting and how much I hate the drummy. It is literally the worst gun in Fortnite at the moment. So I saw this guy who was completely clueless and beamed him with the drummy as well. I went to fight him and shot him a couple times and he died. I grappled into zone to find a bush that I could heal in. I ended up seeing one that looked good enough here and I was hoping there was no one in it. Thankfully there wasn't. So I popped my med kit and got back to 100 health. As soon as I popped the med kit, I went back out to find some more people. So I looked around and grappled everywhere, reloaded my guns and tried to find some more. I saw these guys fighting, so I went over to fight them. I tried to spray at Sky, but I got literally the worst bloom I've ever had. I grappled over to this house, and the guy tried to beat me, but I built. I saw a truck coming out of zone, but I wanted to focus on the guy ahead of me because he looked like more of a threat. Little did I know. The guy ended up sniping me in the head, which very much so annoyed me. Why did I peek? I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to the next clip. What is the best gun you may, you may ask? I'll show you. So as you may have guessed, in my opinion, the best gun in this game is the suppressed SMG. I don't know if it'll be here next season, but I sure hope it will, because it makes the game so much more fun. The game was kind of dying, I say kind of dying, the game's pretty much dead to the majority of people who played at the start. But now, I find more enjoyment from mining at places like Twitter than getting suppressed SMG. Well, I may call this press SMG overpowered a couple times in this video. It's actually fairly balanced in my opinion, as it's got raw firepower of 22 damage for the blue one, and a lot of damage to the headshot, despite the fact that there's reduced damage at the start of the season. The only place you can find it are henchman chest, in Fortilla, or on the secret boat around the map, which has the ghost henchman chest. So in this game, I managed to get a win with this press SMG. I wasn't in the best of lobbies, but I was in a lobby with mm, not complete and total boss. Some of them were real players, but they weren't great. As you can see here, I leave behind two P90s for a green suppressed SMG. Would I do that normally? Yes. Would I do that in the video? Most certainly. I see Ocean here, so I spray her to get the oil, because at the moment I just have a green AR. So I spray her down and kill her, and kill him from the side. Then a third henchman comes. So I shoot him, and then I just get the org, you know, do a bit of this, bit of that. See. The suppressed SMG melts these two henchmen. Like, look at that. Destroyed. High ping, still destroyed. And if you land Fortilla to get the SMG, you get a vault, you get the Chug Jug, you get the Org. And in this game, I managed to find all the mythics. I didn't carry them all at one point. And there's only five mythics, so I could have fit into my inventory. And I'm saying, oh, tiny, it's only six mythics because, you know, the drum gun and stuff. Drum gun isn't a mythic, it's, it's just, it's a less than grey that was put in the wrong rarity. So once I got the vault and stuff and zone came in, the only reason I was still in the vault was to get pads and the blue suppress SMG, which is even nastier than the green one. I managed to find it, well, I sharked it anyway. So once that chest was broken, I managed to grab the suppress SMG and try and get out of there.
So I saw a guy here and I was fairly confident because I had good enough loot and this guy didn't seem like the best player ever. Or at least so I thought until I saw him building. Then I kind of got a little bit worried and then I sweated him. I did whiff both my attack shots. But don't worry, this trusty suppressed SMG will always kill everyone. No matter what. Unless you run out of ammo like you'll see in a minute. But I still managed to survive because I got a suppressed SMG. This guy had drummy. As you saw earlier in the video, I will not take the drummy over anything unless I'm making a video. I was even confident enough to drop my shotgun for the suppressed SMG. That's how highly I think of it. At this point I hear shooting all around me so I cone up and start chuck drumming. In this video, a lot of the time I will fast forward the chuck drumming, but here I don't. So as soon as I popped the chug, I ran away from where I was so that I could get to a better position. The chop was right below me but it was in a slightly precarious position but I thought it was worth it if it did take any damage I still had the chopper. It didn't take too much damage so I was pretty much fine. And I hadn't taken any damage earlier. I was getting shot at by this guy so I decided to rush him. It didn't look great again, I think he was a bot, I don't know. Nearly hopped out and killed myself, but you know, I, I managed to save myself, as always. So being him with this press SMG, I run out of bullets because I forgot to reload. So I just finish him off with it or a headshot. I started getting shot at by this one, who absolutely be my chopper. And he was most certainly not a bot because he was the sweatiest person I'd seen in the lobby all game and I probably will see. He beamed me like the true control player that he is. Even though I was also playing a controller in this game because it makes life a lot easier when I'm trying to record a video and I don't get pooed on. When I start maining keyboard and mouse I will start doing one month progressions, one week progressions and so on. Just so I can keep you guys up to date with how I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse. I tried to get the chug drug off, but this guy wouldn't let me, so I tried to beam out this guy with the press SMG. Missed a couple of my shots at the start, that was all my fault, not the press SMGs. And absolutely beamed him when he got closer. It was sad to part with it, but I had to drop Ocean's Org. It's a good gun, but uh, it's just kind of overrated, and I managed to grab the two other mythics from Caddy. So at this point I could have had the Exodia loaded, or as some people would call it, the All Mythics. But I decided to keep it simple enough and keep it this press SMG for the video. I would have kept it this press SMG anyway because I didn't really need Ocean's Org. This guy wasn't great, but I managed to hit him for 99 off the zip line. So I beamed him with this press SMG after Shockwave him out of his box. I was getting sniped up from somewhere, but I wanted to get as many kills as possible, so I started to jump with him. I found him, he was a shadow elf, so I started shooting him, he got hit a couple times, he wasn't great but my shockwave launcher glitched out, I don't know if it was server lag or was it a glitch, but I don't know. The guy placed a pad but he wasn't the best of players so he missed his pad, fell off, tried to get back on it after I hit him for 40 whites. I shot him once with my suppressed SMG for 9 damage from that range with an SMG, which is an insane amount and I decided to shoot him. He tried to beam me out of the sky, but I ended up just landing on him and he tried to WP when he was one tap, so I just charged shotgun him. I then decided to chug drug, which was a smart decision on my part, as I was very weak. At this point there were six people left in a fairly big ish circle. So I ran around for a while trying to find people. Obviously there was the guy in the chopper but I decided not to WK him as I didn't have any long range guns. And he'd probably hop out ages away from me and snipe me or beam me or something. So I saw this guy who had driven a car into a house. 
and I decided to charge him my shotgun. And then he came W King in my face. He wasn't a bot, but he wasn't great. So I decided to shoot him with my shockwave to get him out of the hut. I tried to shockwave him for a little bit of damage, but it didn't really do much. I kind of missed with the shotgun. Again missed with the shotgun, but managed to clean things up with the old trust in this predecessor G. I was getting shot by this other guy, so once I killed him, I went over to Here's to Matthew, he's true blue. He's a pot through and through. He's a, so they say, meant to go to heaven, but he went the other way. He went down, 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 down. Sip, sip. What do we think of Matthew? He's alright. So once I chug jugged, I went over to the sky drop to grab the pad as I mightily load it. So once I grabbed the pad, I saw this guy fighting some marauders, so I went over there. He had taken out a good few of them. So all I needed to do was take out him and the dead eye marauder. I was hoping the dead eye marauder wouldn't steal my kill. Thankfully, she didn't. So now with only three people left, I hurried this guy under me. His movement didn't sound too advanced. I decided to WK him, and once I figured out that he was in the bush, I shockwaved us both out of the bush, took a little bit of storm damage, went back onto him, and decided to beam him with the press SMP. As always, he went down without much of a fight. So I grabbed his pads and his rockets, and padded it over to the last guy. I saw him under me, so I decided to land at the house and make sure all my guns were reloaded so I can kill him easily. Press SMG, but I couldn't. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please subscribe and hit the bell.